I think Andrea has real life experience. Um, I don't think she's a politician by design. I think that it just happens to be something she's going to be wonderful at. Andrea has been working on things that are good for the state for years. She started a nonprofit, Women in Enterprise, which has made a tremendous difference, not only in individual lives of women, but for the hundreds of people who have started to work in the businesses that have been created because of her nonprofit. She thinks a lot about what it is she's doing. She's not mouthing the usual sort of elect me drivel. She's done it and she really has put her time and her life where her values are, and that impresses me a lot. A lot of people talk about creating jobs. Andrea knows how to create jobs, and she does it from the bottom up. She doesn't do it by giving tax breaks to giant corporations. She does it by teaching people how to do it themselves, and I'm just so inspired by what she does, and I think she has a good plan for what she would do as lieutenant governor. She wouldn't just sit around waiting for the governor to tell her what to do. I think she would come right in with a good plan for ending homelessness and for building uh, a vibrant economy. Andrea's got a great track record. I mean, she has created jobs in this state. She has gotten people to work. She has a vision. She's accomplished a whole lot, but she still lives her life the way most people in Massachusetts do. She is a dark horse, but I think people are ready for change. I want to be lieutenant governor because I can make a difference. We're going to need both the governor and the lieutenant governor going at full steam to turn our economy around. I want to be a part of the solution. I mean, that's how I was raised.